So, we're drawing zero apps. So let's see what power rails are present and which ones are not. Let's go through my power rails. We're going to go to page 65, I believe. Now watch out, watch what Paul Daniels' new software does. This is the beauty and the magic of using software that's been coded by Paul Daniels. If I right click over here, if I right click on PP bus, G3 hot, it shows me right over here exactly where to find those rails. That is some beautiful damn software. Available on pldaniels.com. Looks like we're getting 8.6 volts on PP bus G3 hot. Let's check out what we're getting on some other rails. Okay. Now, we have a hint. Can you see my hint? See that? That is liquid damage. So now we're going to look at that section of the board and it'll and see if there is liquid in that spot because that will give us an idea of what's going on. If we look at that spot in the board. <laughs> liquid. And there's water over here by the bios, but the traces that are usually broken aren't broken yet. There was a little bit that probably got on my clock chip, so we're going to check that. Well, let's see what that's for. Using Paul Daniels' board view software. Available at pldaniels.com. So this one, PCH GPIO, boring. Trackpad SPI clock, boring. Audio something, boring. UART, boring. Trackpad mossy, boring. And what's this? Yeah, just some pull down resistors for things like Ethernet. Okay, so that's not as important as I thought. For some reason, I thought that area was going to be more important. I thought that was going to have some SPI ROM resistors. Either way, I'm going to give that area a nice little gentle reflow just to remind it that it, that it matters. We care about it. Someone says, just watch the snazzy video review. That was really depressing. Yeah, that's Apple. That's the company everybody fights to defend. That's their god. I was reading that some companies will send out higher quality products to reviewers than will be available on the market. What are your thoughts? I honestly don't think many of these companies are even sophisticated enough to do that. Here's, the, here's what I think. If your product is so bad that you, have to, that you have to send a higher quality version of it to the reviewer just for it to get a good review, chances are you're probably too stupid to set up too, or, or too underfunded or too messed up to be able to set up and manage two separate production lines. I, I, just, I think that that is something that could totally have been a thing back when there were actually people sitting there and soldering things together by hand like, or for audio gear, I'm gonna use thin. F I'm gonna use film resistors for this guy, and I'm gonna use that carbon crap for this other one. You know, I get it, but I don't get. I don't see how that could be a thing in the modern world. You know, are there really craftsmen that are sitting putting things together, where they say, make sure that he gets a better quality one than this guy? I mean, I could be wrong. It's just I would be skeptical of that in the modern world. So let's continue looking around this board. The BIOS area's got some interesting, nasty-looking traces. But nothing here is particularly broken yet. PP3V3S5 SMC. And then there's an inductor above it that also looks dis... Actually, there's the capacitor under it, which is PP3V3AV ref SMC and PP3V3S5 SMC. Those both look like crap. 3.3. That's what it's supposed to be. 3.4. That's what it's supposed to be. All right. Now, I'd be interested in checking out some of the other rails here. Rails like PP5VS5 and so on and so forth. All right. So let's check PPVRTC underscore G3 hot. It's like... Two. Three. 3.3. PP5VS5. Alright, now let's see, are we getting our 
other rail? PP5 ES4? Of course not. And it's not being enabled either. Now once we have S5 rails good, I believe PM DSW underscore power good is supposed to show up. And I kind of want to see if that's showing up here. That could stop us from getting some progress. So we would find PM DSW power good right over there. 3.4. Alright, so I would say that at this point, we have a board missing PM sleep S4L with some liquid damage around the SMC. So the first thing I would do is clean up the SMC area and see if that fixes it. I mean, it's the most, it's the most obvious thing to go for here. Dead CPU could be it, but I, since, but I still wouldn't jump at that. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's been harder to get this stuff out of the tube lately. Maybe I'm getting old, but it's... You gotta watch out when you get old, because when you get old, it's harder to get your stuff out of the tube. My phone's ringing. My burrito! But my my chip hasn't reflowed. Alright, I think it reflowed. Hello! Yeah! Yeah, be, I'll be right outside! Uh, I'll be right outside. I'm walking outside now. My burrito! Burrito. Hey. Where's the hey, man. Sorry, I had to finish reflowing my SMC for my 3437 board. All right. See you later. Yeah, he he that he totally got exactly what I was talking about. Can't interrupt the reflow. What is this? This is the thing with New York City. Like this is the. Sh it's like you, the prices either keep going up or the prices stay the same, but they just keep giving you less and less stuff. This is not a $10 burrito. Where's the hot sauce? Where's the hot sauce? Where is the... Really? No hot sauce. No hot sauce. No hot sauce. No salsa. No hot sauce. This is your $10 burrito? Mmm. This sucks. Man, I tried every burrito place by here. There's a good one by my apartment, but these suck. Mmm. Gross. This is garbage. Absolute garbage. It even looks like garbage. Look at the inside of this thing. It looks like dirt. I have no problem with legal immigrants. I have no problem with people that try to make it in this country that do hard work and put an effort. God bless them. You know, do your best. I don't think there should be a wall based on immigration status. I do think there should be a wall based on the quality of the burritos that your establishment offers. And if that's the type of burrito that you offer, 
I don't even care if you're a legal immigrant. You got. I don't even care if you were born here. I don't care what color you are, what religion you are, but you got to go. There is absolutely no reason to offer a burrito that tastes that badly if you're a business or a restaurant in the United States of America. That is disgusting. Jesus Christ, that was terrible. That's the worst burrito I've, I think I've eaten in my, all the years I've ever lived in New York City. I've done nothing to deserve a burrito of such low quality. And bam! SMC Reflow. Fixed. There we go. So, this is an interesting one. This was an interesting one. We were missing our S4 rails. This chip over here is going to be responsible for creating our S4 rail over here, PP5E S4 RS3. And that's going to be enabled by you. Where do you come from? You come from P5E S4 RS3 EN. Well, where do you come from? You come from here. That comes from PM Sleep S4L. And where does PM Sleep S4L come from? the CPU. So, a lot of the times, it would be normal to think that the CPU is dead if you're missing PM Sleep S4L. However, the SMC can stop PM Sleep S4L from being there. Now, the reason I knew that this time is because there was corrosion right around the SMC. The corrosion around the SMC hinted me in that direction and told me, focus on this. But, without the hint of corrosion by the SMC, I may have never known that the SMC was what was causing PM Sleep S4L to be missing. This is why having corrosion on the spot that's causing your problem is so great. Because now I know that in my head. Next time I know the SMC can cause PM Sleep S4L to be missing. Now I know that the SMC can keep PM Sleep S4L from being present. But that's typically only when PM DSW Power Good is also not present. I can't remember a case where PM DSW Power Good was present. I had a green light. And... PM Sleep S4L was missing, and it was the SMC's fault. So that's a very interesting one to me, and I would like to look into how it is that the SMC would cause that to happen. The SMC can also cause issues where it turns on but doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't boot in anything, it turns on with no brain, but this was legit missing PM Sleep S4L dead, and we've got to figure it out because of the liquid damage. Hey, look here, this causes this issue. So now I know, and I add this to my repertoire, when I started troubleshooting, I was drawing 0 0.001, 0 0.002 amps on my power supply. When I looked at the board, there was corrosion by the SMC. When I focused on what was missing, PM Sleep S4L was missing, and I was missing my S4 rails, and there was something going on with my SMC. So now the next time I see that my machine is drawing 0 0.001 amps on my power supply, I know, okay, check the SMC even if it's not corroded. This will allow me to look at the next board and say, okay, even if there's no corrosion on it, let me consider the SMC as a variable where I typically would not consider it as a variable because of this experience. And that's awesome. So with that, let's move on to the next board.